morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are, no matter what time it is when you're watching. Hey friend, and welcome to my channel. And if you're an old friend, welcome back to my channel. Welcome home. Are y'all ready? Because it's time for another Makeup Monopoly. Today's gonna be a good one. I do have a few things coming in the future for Makeup Monopoly. You know, I try to upgrade this every time I do something. But before we get started, I just wanna go over the rules. I'm gonna roll the dice and whatever I land on, I'm going to buy. The game is going to end once a predetermined number of color sets are owned. Let's see what number I have to come up with today. And the numbers are gonna be between three to eight. Or should I do two to eight? I don't know, you can own a total of eight, but I don't want it to be like one or two because then it'll be like a super short video. So I just do three to eight. Watch, I'm gonna do three to seven because owning all eight properties, we're gonna be here all day. So I'm gonna spin the wheel now between three to seven. The number that we need to own today is six. We need six properties. So this is just gonna be a little bit of a long game, but if you're ready, so am I. Our drink of choice today is rum from the Kraken, my favorite drink. We also have lemonade in here. And this tumbler is from Blend Bunny, y'all. Please go over there and tell them to bring it back. I want this in every color. I love it. Anyway, so how the game goes is if I roll and land on a chance, I will then flip a coin. Heads means I do not have to take a shot, and tails means I do have to take my prescription. Right. While I'm in jail, if I roll and I end up in jail, I will have to spin a wheel, and it'll tell me what key piece of makeup I have to take off. Till this day, I have never been sober with this game or left all of my makeup on. Let's see if we can break that trend. Also, I did want to give a special shout out to Nicole Harrington and Teresa is Dead. Without these two lovely women, Makeup Monopoly would never have happened. One, because Nicole is the one who helped me take idea and make it a thing. And Teresa is the one who inspired me. So, round of applause for those two. And then I just want to put out a quick disclaimer. I do not endorse or think it's right to have underage drinking. So if you are going to partake of the spirits, be 21 years of age. And if you are 21 years of age and drinking, do not under any circumstance get behind a wheel because that would be dumb. We don't drink and drive around here. It's not safe. And if you want to play with your life, that's your thing. But keep the streets safe for everybody else. All right. Now, if y'all are ready, so am I. Let's get into it. This is the board for today. And these are the properties. So now we're going to roll the dice. Seven. That is just visiting, so we're going to keep going. Eleven. All right, and we have our first property. So this is from Makeup Forever. It's a HD Skin Face Essentials. It's a full face cream palette. It's supposed to be easy to use with multi-use shades that can be mixed to create a custom foundation, concealer, bronzer, contour, blush, or highlighter. So it's free of par parabens, formaldehydes. Okay. It was designed for all skin tones. Love that. And it's supposed to deliver long-lasting, buildable coverage with a skin-like finish. Okay, so let's take a look at the actual products. Okay, so first it looks like this six-pan. Six one looks like bronzer, contour, foundation. The other one is on like the pink um, spectrum. And then we have one that's like mauve -y. So palette one is light to medium, which honestly I think... You can make a good blush for this. The shade range is pretty, pretty tight together. It, it's, I, I don't know about this one. I really don't. The second palette is tan to deep, and that's probably more my speed or, you know, 
they have this almost black color, a deep brown, like a toffee brown. And then they got a nice reddish coral color. I mean, have we seen this before? Yeah. Are they going to keep making this? Yeah. Let's see if we can get a price on this. I don't $88. If you want to spend $88, it's on the Sephora website. I will not be partaking in this bullshit. No. No, no. I don't very much like cream products anyway. Moving on. All right, we rolled a 10, which is the Butter Glosses from NYX. Now, this is a switch. Now, this one is a little different because they're the Butter Glosses with a bling. Y'all remember last week we were talking about the gold um, shimmery lip gloss from NYX? Well, it seems that they've turned all their Butter Gloss shades into shimmer, and I am ecstatic. I love the little 90s vibes that gives. Ugh. I absolutely, I, uh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's supposed to give shimmer and shine. It's cruelty free and they're $6 each. That's the price point I'm talking about. That's what I, that, when I think about lip glosses and some products, $88 is outrageous, but $6 for a lip gloss, I think it's great. So if you don't know, it comes in eight colors. It ranges from this very pale beige to this deep, deep cocoa color. I like it. To me, there are like four, three or four of them that I want to buy immediately. But at the moment, I'm not going to buy it. I want you, I don't know. I don't see anyone testing this out. But mm, I'm excited about it. I like it. Moving on. Five. And that puts us on chance. So what I'm going to do is toss this coin. Heads. I don't have to take a shot just yet. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Six. This is brought to us by Too Faced. It's, it's New Shades Lipsticks Lip Balm Eyeliner. It's Hangover Pillow Balm Ultra Highlighting Hydrating Lip Balm, which is $26. Very Vanilla Pink Mint Cranberry Crush. Those are the shades. And then the Lady Bold Cream Lipstick is retailed at $29. Coming in shades Committed, which is like a dusty mauve. Dear Diary, which is a medium pink. Hopelessly Devoted, warm hot pink. Power Move, which is an electric blue pink. Main Character, which is a neon berry. Upgrade, which is a rich berry. And then the Killer Liner 36 Hour Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil is $25. And three shades, Taupe, Metallic Burgundy, Rich, and then I guess regular Metallic Burgundy. From what I can see, let's see. The lipsticks, let's start there. I love this, the pale peachy pink color. Absolutely love it. I actually love all of them, except this like electric berry color. It just gives way too, 280s. But every other color I like. The price point is just right before too much for me. But it is doable. And I like that. It gives like old, you know, it's just a regular old school lipstick tube. And, you know, it's a cream lipstick, so it, no frills with this, but the actual colors, those are nice. Then the lip glosses, only one of them I like. The last one, this this mauve peachy color, that's the only one I like. Again, there's the electric one, the electric pink. I think it gives two 280s, but the other one looks like it's just a clear, like, donut glaze color with a little shimmer inside. So, not quite sure if that's something I would want. And then we have the pencils. Normal pencils looks like, I don't know, how do you, are you able to sharpen this? That's kind of my problem with these little eyeliners. How do you reuse it once you use it down to the little itty bitty tip they provide? Hopefully you can sharpen it, but nothing extravagant. So, Dear Diary is cute. I think that will look very nice. Power Move is the one I would probably skip. Upgrade is nice. It's a deeper berry color. Very Vanilla is just like gloss with shimmer in it. From the swatches, I, it looks okay. You know, I'm not mad at this at all, Too Faced. I may go ahead and add Dear Diary to the boozy Sephora fun. Or, you know, buy it with the boozy Sephora fun. I like this. We're going to move on from here. Ten. And that is a chance. So, you know what we have to do? We're going to flip that coin. Heads again. Thank you, thank you. 
last time it tricked me. It gave me heads like five times in a row. And then all of a sudden it was back to back to back shot. So I'm going to hold on to these heads. Or hopefully we're going to remain, you know, sober today. But I doubt it. We are going to move on from here though. Six. So this is a sneak peek. It's a new Tom Ford product. It looks like a Soleil lip blush. So I guess this is a high-end version of lip gloss because lip blush is outrageous as a name. Anyway, it's apparently it's already available in Asia and it's coming soon to the US. So what it looks like, it's just a pale, almost gives you the faintest touch of bleach. And it looks like it has some gold flakes in it. The applicator looks nice. Um, packaging is okay. I just think, you know, it's just... I'm pretty sure it's going to be overrated and overpriced because of the, the company it's coming from. Because it's Tom Ford. But when it comes out, I'll let you guys know. Uh, as for me, it's a meh. Meh. Next. Moving on. 11. This is from Colourpop. Colourpop. These are so juice. It's so juicy plumping lip products. It's apparently a new additions. They retail for $10. It's a three in one that combines the benefits of a plumping lip product with the hydration of a balm and the shine of a gloss. Okay, so the shades are Vacay Mode, Guava Glaze, Dolled Up, Doe, PSL, and Berry Spritz. And then there's the, I guess they're complimenting lip liners. Those retail for $8. And they will be available on the 28th at 10 a.m. You can either use, there are a bunch of people who have codes. Trend Mood has its own code. I actually will probably get into at least one of them, if not multiple. Yeah, looking at it once, obviously it's just a, a video. Um, so you click it from the bottom. To get more product. And yeah it does actually. These are actually really pretty. I like. Oh. I love. Do I like this? Is this going to be my first Colourpop product? Yep. Definitely added to the. Boozy Sephora. Wish list. Got it. We're definitely going to get that. We're going to move on. From there, we rolled a six. All right. It's another ColourPop product. It's the new eyeshadow palette, Elemental. It gives us nine shades of blissful blues and serene sparkling silvers and metallic, matte, and pearlescent glitter finishes. And it's only $14. It is actually available today, um, the 21st of March. It's too cool tone for me, but it's, it reminds me of... The palette that Colored Rain did. I'm going to give you a side by side. I, I don't, It's very similar. I don't know the quality or like anything about Colourpop products because I've never had one. I'm not upset with this palette. It's, it's okay. I mean we already kind of have other companies that have done these cool neutral blues. I mean Glamlight had their Hershey's uh, white chocolate palette. Like I said Color Rain has one. I mean, it's it's been done, and actually there's nothing exciting about this. The packaging looks like, you know, if you take a picture of something underwater, and it's got those nice highlight squiggling lines, that's what it's giving. I'm not upset with the palette, but it's just not for me, especially when there are other people who have done it. But, it's not that bad. Not that bad. We're going to move on. Eleven. And we are in jail. Now I'm going to spin the wheel and see what I need to take off. Left eye shadow. There's that. We're gonna move on. We're going to go back over to just visiting. And we're, you know, technically in jail now. From there we roll a six. This is another ColourPop product. This is, nothing's been revealed yet except that we know 
It's going to be ColourPop's newest collaboration. And it's going to be with Pokemon. Now, if you're an OG kid who grew up on WB Saturdays or any type of cartoons on Sundays, you know Pokemon was that guy. It was so innovative. I don't think we would seen anything like that before. I, I mean, who didn't have the Pokemon games? To this day, Pokemon is still a high-selling game on the PS5, on the Nintendo Switch, whatever. I, Depending on what actually they put out, I'm actually really excited about this. Apparently, it's going to be coming soon on their website. Let me just check to see if there's anything there. All right, so ColourPop. Let's see if they have anything about the Pokemon. Not yet. Not yet. So it hasn't been there yet, but as soon as it drops, I will let you guys know. I'm actually super excited about this one, and I want to know what they're going to put in it. Hopefully they don't mess it up like they did the Twilight one, because as you know, that one was a complete and utter failure. We're going to move on from there, and we roll a nine. Okay. One second. Hi. Uh, you getting your makeup done. Who is doing? First of all, Nicole, you say hello to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> Hi, people. <laughs> this is, oh, see, I just said, I just laughed. I just said, hey, if y'all aren't subscribed to my good friend, play. We gotta go see the makeup monopoly, okay? Go buy you a cute ruffle hat from Crafty Contours. Please and thank you. Use code Nicole for zero percent off. <laughs> And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Where was I going? Alright, I don't even remember where we... Oh, we're at the blush. We're at the blush. This is brought to us by... I guess it's supposed to be Gave Beauty. It's a Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gel retailing for $24. Uh, from the size of it, I think $24 is right on point. These colors... So it looks like there are six shades. Nightshade, Peony, Marigold, Bouquet, Hibiscus, and Purple Iris. So let's start with the shade Peony. It's like this pale, pale pink, very glossy. I don't find it flattering on all skin tones. But that's awesome because in the photos they're not wearing a liner. And I just think when you're going to do something on your lip, you just you got to put a liner on, you guys. The shade Marigold. Now that's the one. That, that one speaks to me. Ugh. But again, I love a coral peach moment. I, I can't help it. It is, I am who I am. The shade Nightshade is like a, a red cranberry moment. Flattering on all shades. Although if you're very pale, it could give you like vampire lip. But... I'm not mad at it. Hibiscus. She's calling me. And I'm going to pick up the phone. Love her. And then Bouquet. It's like bubblegum. It's like pale bubblegum pink. No. And then Purple Iris. Or Iris is. It's, it's so-so. It works on... It works on some of the... Some skin tones. Not all. It's... It's like, it wants to be a lavender moment, but it if you look at it, it's hinging on pink. I, I don't care for it for me, but I don't think it's terrible. So, Hibiscus and Marigold, $24. Are they available? No, it still says coming soon. So, what I'll do is I'll keep an eye on it. And then once it comes out, I'll do, like, my final thoughts uh, when I'm doing Makeup Monopoly and let you guys know about that. I'm excited about two of the colors, two out of six. Technically a failing grade, but this isn't school. We're going to move on from here. Seven. So this is the second dark blue we have, but it's also our first Monopoly. And you know what that means. Confetti. Confetti. Yes. So this is actually brought to us by RMS Beauty. It's the new Hydra Powder Bronzer. It's a gel to powder bronzer and a refillable mirrored compact, which glides on effortlessly. The bronzer plus a brush. 
is retailing at $44.98. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not for me. Anyways, the colors are Beach Walk Betty, Tan Lines, Bikini Beach, Malibu Muse. Even if I thought this was a great product, the price tag is just an instant no for me. I just... I don't care if that's what bronzers are going for. It's, it's, I would, I could never, never. The packaging looks meh. The bronzer is okay, I guess. Like, I don't have any qualms about the actual product. It's really just the price point that annoys me. But, you know, I'm not, who, $44.98. Why 98 cents? That's such a weird, why not just $45? $44. 98 cents. Okay, now. So I just want to, before we roll, go over what we have. We have one of the baby blues, one of the magenta, two of the orange, one of the red, one of the yellow, two, I'm sorry, one of the dark green, and both of the dark blues. Again, we need six sets. So we got one, five more to go. Moving on, roll to six. That would be our second baby blue. So actually this is like a follow-up of last week's. This is Lisa Eldridge makeup. It's actually available now. It's the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint retailing for $49. A Sculpt and Shade Lip Pencil, $28. Which comes in four neutrals, three cool, three warm. L let's first talk about the skin tint in the shape of an egg. I think it has a good range of color. Um, the packaging is okay. It's a little weird, but that's okay. The lip pencils, your your typical basic pencil, like literally when you get it, I'm sure you could pop it in half. Nothing, no frills with this. Very basic. The colors for the lip pencils, they're okay. There's just nothing exciting about this collection. And $49 for skin tint, I think it's bizarre, but who am I? We're going to move on from here, but ugh, seven. So that would be the ColourPop Elemental. So we move over to the next one, which would be the ColourPop Pokemon, which we also already have. So we move over to the next one. But before we do, that is our second Monopoly. And you know what that means. I don't have to tell you. Confetti. Confetti. This is brought to us by... Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Beautiful Skin Island Glow. It's tanning drops. And it's supposed to be coming soon to their website and to retailers. Me personally, I don't tan. I'm just going to remain this caramel beige person that I am. But there's not really too much information on it. The packaging is nice. I like the, the little dropper. It makes it easy to control how, how much you're applying. The actual packaging, it's fine. It's just... A gold tube and, and a white driplet, a drop it, droplet topper. What is that thing called? Whatever it is, that. It's okay. Once it comes out, I'll let you guys know. But you know, Miss Tealberry. She be putting out products, y'all, so I'm sure we're gonna see this quite soon. We're gonna move on from here. Seven. This is Unearthly Cosmetics. It's a sneak peek, more spring magic coming soon is what it says. So from the photos, it looks like a palette offering mattes and various shimmers, um, duochromes. From what I can see, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Like I was saying, a lot of indie brands do the same stuff over and over again. I do actually like this one from what I can see. I'm not sure if it's two different palettes because of the way they group the photos. But from what I can see, versatile. Versatile palette. She's worse. Once they announce more about this, I'll let you guys know. Until then, we're going to go ahead and move on. Five. That is brought to us by Lorella Cosmetics. It, it's Lorella X Peanuts. It is available. It includes a Peanuts Gang eyeshadow palette for $36. 
I'm all right with that price point. Snoopy slash Woodstock handheld mirror, $26. Okay. A lip scrub for $12. Kick off lip kit for $17. Makeup case, $60. Is that like the, the bag? I would pass on that because I'm not paying $60 for no bag. That's, that's crazy. But let's talk about the actual products. Let's start with the palette. It's super colorful. I can tell they had like a picture of peanuts and maybe when they were doing the mock-up they just used the dropper to get the colors because it's literally peanuts. I actually like this. And how much was it? It was $36. The lip scrubs, they're cute. It's a honey lip scrub and a blue raspberry lip scrub. The honey lip scrub says best friends and the blue raspberry says running late. The lip kit comes with a pencil and it looks like a lip gloss or lipstick. And it's like a toffee brown color. Okay, I'm not mad at it. It's really cute. These, these mirrors, <laughs> these mirrors are cute actually. I am not upset with that. The bag, it's cute, but not for six, not for $60. $60, it's a little much. Let me see, let me go to Lorella Cosmetics. Help me Lord, cause I don't get paid till tomorrow. Yep, the makeup bag is literally $60. I just want the palette. It's, it's really cute. I'm sure, mm, mm. Am I getting it? I don't, I don't know. I'll come back to that. I, I want the palette, but I don't know if I want it that much. We're gonna move on from here. Six, this is from Dior. All right, it's the uh, summer 2024 collection with three new colors, pink lilac, Poppy Coral and Bronze Glow. Each color includes four products. A Rosy Glow Brush for $40. An Addicted Lip Maximizer for $40. A Lip Glow Oil for $40. Addicted Lip Glow for $40. So 40 must be their favorite fucking number. There's no way on Jesus, Devante Christ, Earth, that I would pay $40 for this. And you're just buying the name. If y'all don't carry y'all ass over to the Sephora or House Labs and get these goddamn colors, no. Is turn this on? No. 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 It's not bad. Love the color choices. But you can get it somewhere else for cheaper. Why pay for this name? Chad, I can I can listen to it on my iPod. Next, moving on. We rolled in eight. All right, that is brought to us by, this is from Tarte. It's the Shape Tape Glow Blush Bar. It's a baked blush trio for an instant cheek lift effect, radiant pigment for a lit from within glow. It retails for $49 and there's the Rosy Bar and the Berry Bar. Okay, so let's talk about the Berry Bar first. You have this brown beigey color. You have like a coral peach and then a deeper burgundy color. It's not exciting. It's not exciting at all, but I don't hate it. But at $49, it's not for me. At least for $49, you're getting three different things. The Dior one, you spent $40 and you got one color. Absolutely not. But the other one, the Rose Bar, this one is pretty. It's very spring. Um, the packaging, it, Packaging is packaging. Um, I like it, especially since spring is coming up. This gives you like that cute, fresh vibe. I like it. Would I buy it? No. Would I accept it? Yeah. But I'm not buying it. No, 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 no. Moving on. Two. So we rolled a two, which would put us on the elemental palette. We have it, so we move to the next one. We have that ColourPop Pokemon. We have that. Move to the next one is that Charlotte Tilbury. We have that, so we move to free parking. And if you don't remember, we were up to $35. So now we've landed on it again. We had five more dollars. We're at $40. I think when I get to about $100, $150, I'll, I'll go and buy something. So we're going to go ahead and roll and move on from here. Four. That is chance. And to this coin toss we go. Tails. Our first tails, you guys. Get a little hair on your chest, devil. <clears throat> We're gonna move on. 
seven. And so it begins. <clears throat> this is the peanuts. We own it. We gotta go to the next one, which is chance. We're gonna flip that coin again. Heads. Mm -mm. Yeah, I wasn't ready for another one. <laughs> We're gonna move on. Seven. This this isn't technically makeup, but it's in the family. This is the new solar power collection from Real Techniques uh, makeup brushes. It includes a sun soak sponge trio, smolder eye and brow duo, multi metallic eye set, soft shadow contour brush, light lift concealer brush, bronze up base brush, golden hour glow base set. It says it's coming soon. So let's take a look at what it actually looks like. First of all, I love the packaging, love the color. Very Arizona at dusk. And Real Techniques have great brushes, actually, for me. I have never had an issue with my Real Techniques brushes. They're all dirty at the moment, but like, I never had an issue with them. Sponges are sponges, you know. The Brow Duo is a Brow Duo, it's, it's okay. You can get the Golden Hour Base Set, which comes with four different things. Three face brushes and then a makeup spatula to conceal. I guess that's the new thing I've been seeing people use, like this metal thing, and it's just, like lightly press the foundation in. I'm old school, just give me my brush, but I'm not upset with this, I think this is good. So let's quickly, because I just realized that's a monopoly. So excuse me while I give you confetti, confetti. So let's quickly go over this. We have one of the browns, we have all of the baby blues, we have two of the magenta, we have all of the oranges, we have one of the reds, two of the yellows, two of the greens, and two of the dark blues. We have three sets, we need three more. Let's keep this game going. From there, we roll a 10. We already have landed on Miss Tilbury, going over to free parking, adding five more dollars. We're up to $45, y'all. Moving on. Eight. We are in jail. Let's see what they're taking away from me. Right eye shadow. gonna go ahead and move on. We're back and just visiting. We roll a two. We already own that so we move to the next one which we already own. So we're on chance where we're gonna flip a coin. Tails. Moving on. There we rolled a five. All right, I was hoping we'd get to talk to the talk about this one. Cause what is this? Is a Maya Beauty? Is a Maya Beauty? It's a new shade of their metallic balm. It's a dick. They want me to put a gold dick on my lips. The color is horrible. Let Let's start there. I hate it. It's like literally putting bronzer on your lips, and I don't know if that's good for anyone. I. Mm. Yeah, the packaging is very clever. It has frills, it's ridiculous. It's a conversation starter, which is probably why they did it. Um, it's, it's $95. Next, moving on, you get nothing else from me. From there, we rolled an eight, which gives us our third Monopoly. So before we talk about it, confetti, confetti. This is brought to us by, this is Born This Way. It just dropped, it's $29 each. It's a uh, Too Faced Born This Way mini palette in Warm Ember Nude and Cold Smolder Nude. Let's talk about the Cold Smolder Nude first. Very cool tone. It looks a little dry, looks a little ashy, absolutely not for me. But the actual packaging, it's cute, it's, it's basic, but it's cute, we've all seen it. Uh, Moonstone. Earthy, show off, driftwood, sparkle, and chill, cold smolder. Those are the colors available in the cold smolder nude palette. I don't like it. But this other one, the warm ember nudes, I believe I can actually use something in there. I don't think it's enough for me to want to buy it. But roasty toasty, cream puff, golden girl, warm ember, sizzle, 
bring the heat. So those last three would be the ones that I would probably get the most use out of, but I won't actually buy it. I think it's I think it's great. I'm glad they put two palettes out. So if you can't use one, you can use the other one. I wholeheartedly agree with that. The first one is it's it's kind of ashy, but that second one has the warmer tones, which is I I think I'm a neutral tone, but I look you know I look good in either one. But if it's too cool tone or if it's too warm, then it's too much for me. So I think these both have a good balance, except that cool one. It just looks ashy. Nothing exciting in there, but. We're going to go ahead and move on from here. So we have one Monopoly, two Monopoly, three Monopoly, four Monopoly. We need two more guys. From there, we rolled a 10. So we already own the Real Techniques. We already own the next one. We already own the next one. So now we're on Just Visiting. From there, we roll a 10. This is also brought to us by NYX Cosmetics. It's the Ultimate Party on Sunset 32 Pan Pro Palette. It's limited edition. It has creamy pressed pigments and matte and metallic finish. It's $38. I love the price. So let's actually get into the palette. The pan sizes seem awfully small, but it does have a bit of everything. Everyone can use something in here is what I think. I like it. I actually really do like it. I don't actually have anything bad to say about this or like any critique or anything. Um, I wish it was a little bigger, but... I feel like it's a great price point, good colors. Um, I can see myself doing multiple looks with this. Because, you know, I'm trying to get back into my colorful bag, hence the blue. Uh, I like this one. This is nice. And also, I didn't notice, but that gave us our fifth Monopoly. Excuse me while I give you some confetti. Confetti. So now we have the greens, the dark blues. The baby blues, the orange, and the reds. We need one more. And then we have 11 from there. We already own this. This is the NYX Butter Gloss with Sparkles. Moving on to RMS Beauty, which we own. So now we're on go. We're going to roll again. Five. We already own this. Uh, this is Lisa Eldridge Baby Blue. Then we have to move on to the ColourPop Baby Blue, which we own. So we move on. So now we're just visiting again. Then we rolled a three. We own that, so we go to the next one, which is a chance. So let's go ahead and flip that coin. And it's a heads. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Four, that's free parking. We are now up to 50 American dollars. Moving on, 10. We own this, this was that Tom Ford sneak peek. We own the next one, which is the Snoopy. Moving on to the next one, which is chance. Let's flip that coin again. It was heads again. Moving right along, four. So we landed on this brown, but before we get into it, that is our sixth and final Monopoly. So let me give you a little bit of extra confetti. 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 So let's actually get into what this is. So this is Barbie X Cheekbone, Cheekbone Beauty, and it's coming soon. There's nothing really sad about it. So let me see if I can, let me go to their actual page. Cheek, cheekbone beauty. So it just says we have a special announcement uh, just in time for a very special anniversary. Coming soon, Barbie X Cheekbone. So there's nothing really I can say. There are no products listed, but let me say this. Come here when I say this. I'm sick of Barbie. I'm sick of it. Where's the Bratz collection? Bratz me out. Bratz was the the supreme in the bar in the in the dolls era. I like Bratz. You wanna know why? They were more realistic to me. They were more diverse for me. I, the makeup was makeuping. I'm I'm sick of Barbie. I, I I'm sick of Barbie. I'm I'm sorry if, if you're upset about that, but. I'm sick of looking at Barbie. Let her go. When they give more details on this, I'll let you guys know. But let's take one last look at the properties we got, we we own. All right, so we have the browns, the baby blues, the oranges, the reds, the greens, and the dark blues. So that is the end of our game, you guys. 
what I did want to go ahead and do is thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way you're going to be noted every single time I post new content. Again, my name is Shay. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next Makeup Monopoly. Have a great rest of your week, you guys. Bye, friends. Julie, do the, uh, the thing.